All right, guys, it is Friday. We are about to leave for Princeton, New Jersey for First Class Fitment. Corey's here. Mike is on his way. Mike had to work today. He builds houses up here in uh, my area. He lives in Mass, but he works up here. And they had to finish a roof on a house today. And we thought he was gonna be working till about three. It's quarter afternoon and he's on his way here. By the time this comes out, First Class Fitment will already be over, but I've decided last second to make Dave, Christian, and Roy some thank you gifts. This is the last first class fitment. This is the 10th anniversary. This is the final first class fitment. Um, Dave has a family now. Everybody's kind of, you know, growing up and kind of moving on to bigger things in life. Not bigger things, but you know, different things, things that require a lot of time and, and all that. So this is the last first class fitment. I've been lucky enough to go and have a car at this show since 2012. It's an invite show. You basically, you know, send in photos of your car and they hand select each car. So it's a, it's a high end show. Um, so I feel honored to not only be friends with these guys, but to have had a car at each first class since 2012. Um, so it's in straight up insanity right now. I decided to make these thank you gifts last second. So I had to design them, <laughs> get everything sorted out and make them. Uh, we've been making some leather, uh, first class fitment, can I be, quality over quantity key rings. That's all last second as well. I've just finished assembling those, bringing them with me. My truck, trailer, and car are already at the showground. Yeah, so Mike's on his way with lunch. I'm trying to finish everything up here. Uh, I don't have time for this right now, so I will connect with you guys in a little bit. Bye. So these are the bases I made. Um, just a quick design. Put the Governor's Club logo, the Canna Beat logo, and the First Class Fitment logo on them. Just a quick thank you to the guys for basically all their hard work of putting on one of the best Northeast car shows for the last 10 years running now. These are the acrylic toppers. These haven't been washed yet, so I hand wash these. These will sit down in the valley ditches that I engraved in the bases. And this is basically what it'll look like when it's all done, once it's pressed in there. I'm really excited about these. I think they're gonna love them. It wasn't planned. I wanted to make something for them for a while now, but I just didn't have the time. And this morning was fight or flight basically. So decided to come up with something and here we go. So I'm gonna wash these, get these assembled and finish packing. Mike's here now and uh, he has his hot rod in his trailer. Corey and I are riding down with him. So on the way home, I'll be able to bring my truck, trailer and car. So we're gonna pack up and we'll be on the road within the hour. We are officially on the way, finally, now that I've gotten my life together. <laughs> We're gonna stop and get an iced coffee, you know where. And it's about six, six and a half. It'll probably take a six and a half or a seven because we're probably gonna have to drive through uh, residual Boston uh, commute nonsense once we get down into Massachusetts. But here we go, first class fitment, 2019, giddy up. That's right. There it is. <laughs> it's not a road trip for us until we've got the Duncans. This camera's in Mike's line of vision. Sorry, dude. Princeton, New Jersey. Just made the, uh, what turned into like seven hours down with Mike and Corey. I'm gonna get checked into the hotel and just do some hard relaxing. There was a car meet that started at nine down here, the Los Goonies meet, but we're gonna be at the showgrounds for like six or 6.30 in the morning. So we're just gonna get checked in, shower up, relax, and uh, get some sleep because we're hitting it real early in the morning. I'm like shorts in this room. I wear the end ones. Yeah. It is Saturday morning. It is the day of the final first class fitment. 
It's about, what is it, 5.30 in the morning. Corey and I are up. Mike is up. Mike's in the shower. And we're going to hit Dunkin' Donuts, obviously, and head over to the showgrounds for hopefully 6-ish. I think we're going to be a little after at the moment. But we like getting there at 6. Uh, when Dave and Christian get there, we can help set up, and we're basically first there with everybody. This particular year, everybody's fiending for uh, products and merchandise. They made these really cool windbreakers. I always miss the windbreakers. I'm not going to miss them this year. So. It is freezing this morning. Ice on everything. Done. Summer's officially over. What do you think, Mike? It's cold. I like summer better. I'm wearing jeans. That never happens. Yeah, Mike's wearing jeans, by the way. Up with, you can never see anything. Oh, that's not fog. That's ice. <laughs> Over, oh, uh, that's damn. oh yeah. I can't see anything. I I, yeah, it's ice. <laughs> it's always the fucking same. Yeah, didn't you? You set a camera up inside the car. What did we you do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a force. Dude, too. it's like. <laughs> Jesse's power wheel trigger moves. Yeah. That thing is really cool. Appreciate it, man. It's been a fun project. They're, they're super, super rare. Yeah. Yeah. We are here at the airport. It is... Chris, what time is it? 6.54. It's 6... A.M. We will... Chris wants you to make sure that you know that it's 6.54 in the A.M., not the P.M. And it is cold. Everything's covered in ice and nobody brought ice scrapers. And uh, yeah, we are... I can't feel my fingers. AJ's taking a few photos, 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 photos of the car. We're freezing. Chris getting those... Uh, Sunrise shots. You get nice yeah, nice little, nice little time lapse going on real quick. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Gorgeous sunrise. Always get a gorgeous sunrise here at first class. And sunset. Yep. It's everyone's favorite part. So we all look forward to. <laughs> Weather's gonna be perfect today, though. So sunset, I'm sure, will be a typical first class sunset. First class. Sunset. So I, that's why I knew to hit you up, and I was like, dude, that's gonna be cool, or whatever, whatever. Was it I said. me? Uh, Somebody I spilled know. the beans. I gotta, I gotta look through messages then, because now I want to know too if it wasn't. Somebody spilled the beans. It wasn't me. I was keeping that thing a secret. Did you guys spill the beans? I didn't spill any beans. Chris, Chris messages me and says, <laughs> and says, hey, are you bringing the long boy to H Lo this year? And I'm like, what? And I hadn't told anybody that I was that I bought a long wheelbase century. And he goes, no, you told me. And I'm like, ah, I didn't tell you. He's like, yeah, you told me. I'm like, no, 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 no. Somebody is uh, saying words over here. Coffee's still a little warm, so we're all right. Parked up. I should have taken the camera when we filmed with Chris, because Chris and I did like a whole roll-in, like in intro to the first class fitment film in the 700 with iced up windows. You couldn't see a thing. But we're parked up. Finally enjoying breakfast. Let's go. Room, it feels like uh, yeah, that's yeah, perfect. Like, so, so, like a little... so, 
because of where the beetle pan pedal cluster mounts in relation to the dash, we had to keep moving the driver into the back seat so your feet felt relaxed. So this used to be a four seater. There was a back seat in this yeah. thing. And now you're actually sitting in the in back, the back seat. seat. Yeah, we had, to, we had to custom build a steering column and keep oh, bringing dude, it back. It, dude, it's a pretty cool feeling driver. We just had breakfast at the local diner across the street. It is, what time is it boys? It is 10.30. The queue looks like it's died down a little bit. Most of the roll-ins are done by 10.30. And uh, so we got some breakfast in us, second coffee of the day. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go back and uh, try to stay awake and not take naps for the rest of the morning. It's about noon here at First Class Fitment. Uh, you just saw my buddy Adam's Land Cruiser, which is sick. Him and Christina go on like trips all the time and go camping with it. Clearly, they got like a studio apartment on the roof of that thing. But we're here, the weather is perfect. My buddy Chris Sempak, Kanzai Wheels. That's us here. We're here man. hanging out, first class fitment. Heck yeah, we'll see we'll see him again in uh, Vegas for SEMA. We'll be here before we know it.
Good to see you, man. I've seen you guys like all day long. I just been chit chat with everyone, so I didn't want to interrupt. Kick off the award ceremony. So, um, normally I try and rush through this. I'm not the best at this, but um, somehow this is the tenth time that I've stood up here at the airport to uh, to do the awards for first class women. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, my friend John wants to say something here real quick before we uh, get started. I know it's a little unorthodox, and I know I know a lot of you guys out here. 2012 was my first year here at First Class Fitment, and Dave, Christian, and Roy have become really good friends of mine. And I know that there's a huge team behind this show, and it's not just the three of them, and they'll be the first to tell you that, but it's, it relies on the backs of so many different people, even you guys for coming here. And they spend all these years giving out awards and it's not about the awards I know you guys know that I mean bringing home some hardware is definitely awesome but I've been honored enough to help them make some of the awards over the years uh, through laser engraving and whatnot I didn't work with them on this year's but I wanted to, I really appreciate you letting me take a minute I wanted to make just a thank you gift for you guys this year um, it's not much and I know it's just for I just made three for you guys but share them with everybody I just wanted to make this little thank you gift to you guys um, thank you very much. to put on your mantles. Thank it's the last show in mean, 10 years. You guys have put in so much hard work. I mean, we, you know, I mean, and it says right on it, thank you for all the years, for all your hard work making a community a family. And I feel like that kind of encompasses what you guys have been trying to do here at this show. And I just want to say thank you for opening your doors, putting the show on, um, giving us all a place you know, to come and kind of be a family together. So, thank you, thank you for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, John. I think one last thing I have to say, and Ken kind of echoed this, and I think uh, John and some of the guys mentioned it, but I, I think I need to say it as well. Um, so, Roy, Christian, and I have you know we're behind this and started this but without the support of our friends and family and the guys that you see here every year wearing can i be crew hoodies you know i just want to thank all the guys and girls family um, that have helped us every year and uh, make this happen so thank you all right last but not least before all the runway pictures and one last sunset is a uh, best of show this is a, probably the hardest one to judge because you know we have so many different types of cars here one car that we've been looking forward to seeing done for a long time and uh, was thankfully able to join us for the first time today uh, for our last event that's been eight years in the making actually is Nick Pontic Terrio's 1991 yes. Volkswagen Mark II. Yes. That is parked right here in front of the hangar. And if you guys did not, yes. yeah. if you guys did not get a chance to look at it, um, you guys got to check it out. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Congrats. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, congrats, congrats to Nick and. Thank you again, everyone, for being here, supporting us over the years, making this a special day for us every year. Uh, enjoy it. That concludes First Class Fitment 2019, the 10th year anniversary, the final First Class Fitment. We had an amazing day, the weather's been perfect. Not a cloud in the sky all day long, it wasn't windy, it was super cold this morning. We all forgot our ice scrapers, so it was a little difficult in the 700 because that doesn't have any defrost on it. 
closing to an amazing chapter in the Northeast car community though. This show, Dave, Roy, Christian, everybody at Can I Be put on one of the best Northeast shows, in my opinion. I mean, anyone who attended this show knows exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you so much to the guys. Thank you for watching. I think SEMA is gonna be our next like big vlog unless we do some random shop stuff in between. But this is uh, the conclusion of First Class Fitment 2019. It is Sunday morning, the day after First Class Fitment. And this episode isn't quite done because my good friend Nick Pontario, who actually took best in show at First Class Fitment this year, he's got a phenomenal white Mark II uh, golf. Him and I were on a uh, company called The Take. They're from uh, New York, upstate New York. They're made, they were made by FBM. And uh, it was my first pro sponsorship with BMX. And a year after I was put on the team, uh, Nick was actually put on the team. So that's how I met Nick. We were both on the same pro team riding BMX together. And now, oddly enough, we both have started businesses that cater to the automotive industry and we're both heavily into cars. So it's really cool that we both share that in common now. And we are at the Edison, New Jersey, skate park and we're about to have a session first time i've ridden with nick in 10 plus years probably so i'm excited this is actually the first session in what i don't know well over 10 years the last time was probably at haven skate park oh my gosh yeah that would have been 2000 <laughs> that's probably the last time we had a session i'd say i would say i would say 2007 or 8 8 probably yeah yeah so, so, so figure it's been almost 10 years. 11 years versus yeah. 2008. Yeah. We're almost through 2019 Yeah, because we're not, yeah, you're right, so. Yeah, it's been at least 10 years. So it's been 10 years. So we're at this little skate park in Edison, day after first class fitment. Before we head home from New Jersey, we figured we'd uh, catch up with Nick and we were hoping a few other friends were gonna show up, but they had to work and yeah, so we're, uh, it's a perfect day. Weather's good, not too windy, it's not too bright. We're gonna try to get a few stunts down. Corey's, Corey's getting some stunts down now. We see him killing it. Get the IG story too, you know. Oh, that's on my face. Oh, I didn't get that one. Hey, oh. <laughs> Look at it. You. What was the last time you saw one of these? Ninety-six. <laughs> I bet ninety percent of the people watching this video won't even know what that's from. But, gotta do the right thing. Still though, that was an amazing find. Amazing. The hip, the hip action is. Oh, it's not there anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Until I got positioned and then lost. Oh my god! Oh! Why did I do that? <laughs> you know when you like get in the feet and like you're like this, yep. waiting the for the 180. You're already doing the 180 while you're yeah. waiting for your bike to follow. Oh. Oh. That's why I thought the first one was it. If that was another foot higher, so you had a little bit more fall time, yeah. then you could get it, get it twisted around. That was so close. Oh, oh my okay, okay. close. What are you not just doing? Ah. <laughs> Pressure's on. Because <laughs> now it's one of those things where it's like, it's gotta be back to back. Oh, now you gotta pull it. Turn! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, we still have it. <laughs> we still have it. See? You barely. just need that motivation. Like, I got to do it. I got to do it. Oh, God. Heck yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I miss. Having someone else to ride with to like motivate you. They and pull now. something that you're trying and you're like, oh man, I got to do it now. Got to do it now. I miss that. So that's going to do it for uh, this episode of First Class Fitment. We are in Connecticut, close to the Mass border. We're about two hours from home right now. Final First Class Fitment. What a good time. The weather was perfect. The day was perfect. So many good friends. People that we don't get to see too often each year. I don't know. Any words? Sad to see it go, but it was a good last year. Yeah. Hope Dave, Roy, and Christian all the best in their endeavors. And we'll hopefully see them soon anyway, regardless if they have the show or not. Uh, so thank you for watching, guys. This is going to be the ender for the First Class Fitment episode. I don't know what's next. We're going to SEMA soon, but we might do a small blurb between here and there, another episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.